All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I would like to give our glory, honor, and infinite praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakhak Adash, that were honest to the apostles and elders of great millstone that teach and rule well, labor and 100% doctrine, who we learned the truth from. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing his truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Shalom to the sincere Aqua coming back, being silent, the sisters, as the scriptures commanded say to do, as the, as the scriptures commanded them to do, okay? Um, this is James chapter 1 and verse 22. It reads, But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. Okay. One thing for sure, hey, we get hated because we're a representation. First and foremost, of Yahweh by Shemal Shahu, the word, Ibn Lukai, God, and Jesus Christ. That's the, that's the Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father. He uh, is uh, Yahweh, and the Hebrew name for His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah. And what the Bible consists of is uh, instructions and what we do, what we're supposed to do, and what we don't supposed to do. And we're not just hearers of it; we're doers. Okay, we know our righteousness is as a filthy rags, and we try our best day to day to be renewed and be examples. Okay, warn the sheep, warn the people, admonish the people, even ourselves. We examine ourselves, we teach ourselves. Okay, okay. And with that being said, we just can't be a hero. You just can't know you just an Israelite and that's it. You got to practice what you're preaching. You got to put forth effort because it take a man to step out there on faith and make his body a living sacrifice and um, preach this gospel on the four winds of the earth. Okay, out there on the highways and hedges and make these lessons to edify the sheep. But the scriptures say, my sheep hear my voice. Okay. Uh, verse 23. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. And that go for man and woman, because if you just think about it, a lot of people saying this, a lot of people saying that, but they're not um, applying themselves. It's just they, or they saying it. I'm an Israelite, I'm an Israelite, but they ain't walking as uh, examples, okay? They're not walking by the scriptures. They're not living by the scriptures, okay? That's why the scriptures say, uh, John, Chapter 8. Oh, it's like John chapter 8 and verse 32. It reads, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And see, that's the thing. When you when you come to the truth, you know at the end of the day, okay, uh, this is for you. This is for your soul. This is this is you this is how you're gonna get salvation. Okay, this is how you're gonna get salvation. Ain't no other way for you to make it. Okay, uh, Jesus Christ ain't the way. Buddha ain't the way. Allah ain't the way. This is how by Shema Shah. He's the way. Okay, no matter what this world think, man, we really hate this world. Okay, we hate, we hate how things are set up, especially America, uh, which is spiritually Egypt, spiritually Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Everybody caught up on the ways of this world when America is finna be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. 200 million missiles is finna hit this place, okay? Everybody set up on these careers, okay? Want their children to be all football players, NFL players. Women want to be thots and harlots. Men want to be drug dealers and gangbangers, okay? So like for this noise, I'm gonna make this part with my children. And um, it's a whole lot of spirits out here, okay? And I just want to make an edifying lesson. So it's a lucky for that. Uh, let me get um, let me get a couple more scriptures. And I can wrap this thing up because I felt like just uh, moving in the spirit, man. Okay, I haven't did a lesson today. I've been in school trying to get my um, professional truck driver license. I got my CDL permit. So like it for me getting out the subject, but it just that's what I'm trying to do. And First thing first is this work, okay? And um, with that being said, this is Hebrews. Let me, let me, uh, since I quoted it, this is John chapter 10, verse 27. It reads, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. 
Okay. And that's what's going on. Lord willing, we be a part of that, that number, man. Lord willing, we be a part of the hope for that. Okay. Lord willing. Lord willing. I will rather die. And verse 28 say, And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Why? Because we've been not hearers of the word. We've been doers, man. We've been hated by the whole world, our family, our wives, our children. We love them lesser. Okay, we love them, but uh, the Lord said, deny yourself. See, people think when the scriptures say, uh, deny yourself and hate, uh, you know, uh, it's a roughly paraphrasing which when it comes to your family and friends, it just meaning like love less, love them lesser. Yeah, how about somebody shot? He's first. He's first, man. He's the sacrificial lamb. He laid down his life for us, and we putting our life on the line for him. Okay? So, the scriptures say, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Okay, so, y'all looking at these so-called foolish men, don't get no haircuts. I mean, it's like, we get haircuts, but I mean, line up. We don't get no lineups. We don't get no, no, no lineups, no tape-ups, none of those things. And we get looked at like we're fools, but we're fools for Hamashiach's sake, meaning the Messiah, which is who? Yahweh Shah, who the world is eating the Jesus Christ. Everybody caught up in the ways of this world, man. And Babylon is finna go down. Okay. This is Hebrews chapter 10. And um, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31, and it reads, um, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Okay, so for y'all thinking that this is, this is not the way, hey, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power because you're disrespecting the Lord men, the mouthpiece, which is his prophets. You didn't want to hear. You didn't want to listen to instruction. You, were, you was refusing it. Okay, jumping down, uh, verse 35, it reads, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. Okay, so to so hear how people feel about what we're doing for you, how about Shemal Shot, man? Okay, because we're going to give up. We done gave up everything. Okay, we know we got to work. We got to we gotta pay our bills. Some brothers, I mean, right now, myself, I don't, I don't have a job right now. Okay, I'm working to get a job. But Lord willing, he worked that out for me. Okay, it may not be the truck driver thing. If it is, the water how about your mouth shot? That's what he wanted. But if it's not, okay, the water how about your mouth shot? I take that on the chin. It's something else the Lord want me to do. Okay, but uh, with that being said, okay, you don't cast, you cast not away. Therefore, your confidence, man, your confidence in His truth. Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time, the strength of salvation, and the fear of the Lord is a treasure. Okay, the wisdom and knowledge of what though? You how about your mouth shot? It's truth, man. Knowing it's truth. Okay, because we're the prize. Not to get out of sight, that's just like with these women. Okay, they think they the prize, they the possession. No, we the prize. We lead y'all, we lead the women. You're supposed to help us. But things are off right now. And it's okay because they're just showing that it's not okay, but in a sense, it's going to get better because the order is going to be set. The order is going to be set. We're cursed, man. America has brainwashed our women. America has brainwashed our children. And even at a time, we was brainwashed, okay? Calling ourselves all type of names, by words, and this, that, and the third. Okay, but carrying on, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36. For ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the Most High Yahweh, ye might receive the promise. Okay, the kingdom. Because the kingdom is within. It starts with you first. Okay? So, uh, just know, at the end of the day, Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai got a plan for us, man. For yet a little while, and he that, for, for, it's like, for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come. And we're not tearing. That's how about Shemal Shah. And also the things that Yahweh about Shemal Shah said he was going to do, which is, which are good and evil. Okay, he's going to deliver the one third of hope for the let that been obeying by faith. And he's going to destroy two thirds of his own people. So called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, along with the heathens, and put Esau Edom into slavery. Okay. And verse 38, it reads Now the just shall live by faith. 
who is the just, the upright men. Okay, 144,000, 12,000 men out of each tribe, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indians, standing up boldly for Yahweh by Shemal Shah, standing firmly, okay? And the sincere men, women, and children, one-third, that great innumerable multitude, okay? Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. See? So, a lot of people... Some people be afraid to serve the Lord, man, for what that woman, mama, grandmama, and friends might think. Okay? So, in a sense, I can understand that people feel how they feel, but man, no disrespect, excuse my language. Man, fuck them. You will not serve, man. Psalms, 100, Psalms 118 and verse 8, it says, it's better to put thy trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man, okay? To hell with these people that are gone, they're bugged out, man. To hell with your family and, your, and these people that your job and all them folk think. Okay, you can play along just to blend in because we're supposed to be wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove, okay? And people don't understand, man. But you understand this, man. You don't fall out of this truth, man. Okay, you may get weary, you may get weak, but you pray for strength. Okay, you ask y'all about Shemal Shah to give you the strength that you need, the wisdom that you need to apply the scriptures in your life and live by faith and live by these scriptures to the best of your ability, man. Because this is all we're going to have in the um, times to come. Jacob's trouble, all out chaos, martial law, FEMA camps, okay, famines of food, famines of uh, food and water, okay, pestilences, diseases, okay, uh, class wars, race wars. Yeah, man. All these things are coming to pass, okay? Verse 39, but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul, okay? We believe in Yahweh by Shema Shah, because he, that's that's the sacrificial lamb. He the one who saves, man. That his name, his name means he saves, he delivers. That's how that's how Shah, okay? Yahweh, only begotten son, the heavenly father, only begotten son, which is our big bro, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, okay? So Lord willing, this, this lesson was edifying. Okay, a quick little walk and talk in the park. My son's birthday was the day just wanted to bring him to the park and have a little time with him. Been busy lately with the school and things like that. But this work of the Lord, how about Shemal Shah comes first. As long as we do this work, the Lord is going to um, be there for us. He's going to provide for us, man. He's going he gonna, he gonna to supply our needs. The Lord know what we need, man. Okay. So, like I said, Lord willing, y'all was edified to the next time. I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine. Okay. Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and our righteousness and sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Okay. Shalom to the sincere Akwaf, the few sisters coming back being silent. As the scriptures commanded them to be. Okay, with that being said, Barak Kal Akim, bless the brothers. Okay, Kwam Yasharala, rise of Israel, Shalom, Abab Babal, death and discretion to this place of America, which is spiritually Babylon. And when I want I want to <clears throat> end the lesson now, and my son wants to say Shalom, so Shalom. Shalom. Keep the faith. <laughs>